Hi, alright, let's look at this example. Uh, it's the same, it's still in absolute inequalities. So, okay, right. Every time when you do the question, you rewrite the formula, right? If you have modulus x less or e more or equal a, then the result will be either it's more or equal, the result will be always one greater positive a and one less negative a. And this will be or, right? Or. So, if you have less than a, in the previous video, I already tell you that if you have less than a, less or equal a, everything reverse. Very easy to memorize. You will have less or equal a, or will become n, and this will become greater or equal negative a. Okay? Uh, so, very easy. So, for this case, uh, I'm going to use the second formula without the equal, but it's uh, the same, less than, right? The case is still less than. So, uh, then I have x to the power of 2 minus 6 less than 3 and x squared minus 6 greater than negative of a, uh, a negative 3. Okay, make sure you apply the correct definition, right? Basic definition. So now you have x to the power of 2 minus with 9 less than 0, right? And for this you have x to the power of 2 minus 3 greater than 0. So it's, you know, uh, this one you can factorize x, x, 3 multiply 3, right? Uh, so one negative, one positive, because 9 is 3 to the power of 2. So it will be x minus 3, the other one will be x plus 3. Alright? So then you apply the graphical, because this is a quadratic, right? You're solving a quadratic inequality. So you have a graphical approach. So you have negative 3 and a positive 3, which is not included, right? Not included. And less than. Less than means below the x-axis. The curve below the x-axis. If this is greater, I will choose the curve above the x-axis. So x is between 3 and negative 3 for this case. For this case. How about the these cases? Ah, so these cases, you have x squared minus 3 more than 0. So mm, uh, this is maybe you, you haven't factorized this type of quadratic. Because square uh, 3 can be rewrite as the square root of 3 square, right? Square root of 3 square, you will get 3, right? So, I can apply the concept of mat, uh, the square of difference. So, which is 1a minus b, the other one will be a plus b, right? So, then this is a square minus b square. So, you have 1 minus... 1 plus square root of 3 greater than 0. So, right. So, you have negative square root of 3 and square root of 3. So, greater than 0, right, greater than 0 is the curve above the x-axis. This is below if negative, if above, this will be the region, right? This will be the region. So, uh, then you have x less than, this is a region, right? Uh, this is a region where x less than, uh, sorry, x less than negative square root of 3 or x greater than square root of 3. This will be the solution for this quadratic inequality. But you have two different solutions, right? All right, two different solutions. And you have to combine the solution by the operation n. Alright, what is n? n refer to intersection, right? Intersection of the solution. So you can draw a number line to help you to find the region where these two solutions intersect. So the smallest solution will be negative 3 or the number, alright? Just put all the number on the number line, right? Then you have uh, square root of 3 followed by 3. 
Okay, so at first we put the first uh, number line, which is negative 3 up to 3. It's in between, right? Uh, it's an empty circle because it's not, there are no equal here, right? So the second one will be x less than, uh, this will be the second level, the first for the first solution and the second uh, level for the next solution. So it will be less than, right? Less than and more than, right? Uh, so they are on the same level, right? Because it came from the same solution. So you look at this region where the two lines are intersect. Means they are double line. So this is the region, right? Uh, this is the region. So this is the region. So I'm going to shade this region. Shade this region. So then now you can conclude your solution. Your solution will be x in between negative square root of 3 and negative 3 or because this region or this region there are two regions right so or square root of 3 is between x is between square root of 3 and 3 right so this will be the solution for this problem Alright, see you on the next example.